While we watch the modern day achievements of the people involved in space exploration, it's never it's important to never forget those who went before. And among those heroes is Sally Ride. Tonight, West 2's Luana Munoz looks at how two artists are honoring her life and legacy. Documentary filmmaker Stephen Barber has been on a mission to commemorate NASA's heroes like Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. And then it dawned on him, Houston, we have a problem. There wasn't a single monument highlighting NASA's women. In fact, in America, only like 2% of the monuments represent any sort of female achievement, which is crazy because you guys give us all life, right? So I think we could do a little bit, we could do a little better. Barber quickly raised 300 grand for a sculpture dedicated to Sally Ride, the first American female astronaut to head into space from the Kennedy Space Center in 1983 and again in 84. Barber's been filming everyone involved with Sally's story and the process of her monument coming to life. George Lundeen and his team have been working on that sculpture for the past year. But I, I remember when she went up into space and I remember uh, the uh, challenges that she had both both before and afterwards with uh, uh, all the things she did. Challenges like serving on the investigative team that analyzed the Challenger disaster of 1986, which exploded shortly after liftoff. And in her personal life, she represented a very marginalized group in society. She was gay, something that was known among NASA's inner circle, but didn't surface until after her death. And despite her small stature in real life, the gold and bronze sculpture of Sally will stand at seven feet tall and will be placed in the Cradle of Aviation Museum on Long Island in New York. And it's my great hope, and I think this will happen, is that now I'm moving into diversity. You know, I've been speaking to Mae Jemison, the first black woman in space. Mm -hmm. I've been speaking to Guy Bluford, who's actually given me the rights to build his monument, the first African-American in space. And it's my great hope that diversity will reign supreme once Sally's up. And in Orlando, Luana Munoz, WESH 2 News.